Hey, welcome to Thai Days. Today we are at Street Art Nonsonbury. And Nonsonbury. Yeah, again we've got special guest Sunny. And it looked interesting, I saw it on Google Maps, so I thought I'd come down here. And today's topic I'm going to talk about today scams. is yes, yeah, scams. That's right, the six scams to watch out for in yeah. Bangkok, Thailand, 2022. Scams okay, so scam number one. Scam number one is the old taxi not turning on the meter. That's right, you get into the taxi and he doesn't turn on the meter, he takes you to your destination and before you know it, the taxi's 500 bar. So, number one, you can defeat this scam by either using Grab or you can simply, when you enter the taxi, just ask him to turn on the meter. But meter die my cup. Or you turn on meter. Don't worry, they understand. If you like this video, please like the video. It will help the video get noticed in the algorithm and it will help us grow. Number two is the tuk tuk. Oh the temples are closed today. Oh today's a Buddhist holiday. All the temples are very full, lots of people. Don't believe it. The thing is they get you in the taxi and they want to tell you a tour of all the temples in Thailand and before you know it you're in a shop, maybe a gem shop, maybe a tailor, something like that. Hey, I know many many tuk-tuk drivers who are great people but so you get one in a blue moon who just want to make money. Number three, the jet ski and scooter scam. You rent out a jet ski, you take it for a little across the sea, you bring it back and before you know it, oh the jet ski's got damage here, the jet ski's got damage there. You damaged our jet ski, you have to pay for it. Same with the scooter, you take the scooter away all around the islands, you bring it back, oh the clutch is gone, the brake is gone, well you have to pay for it. How do we defeat the scam? You check the jet ski or the scooter first. Don't be scared to get your camera out and take pictures of the vehicle that you are going to rent. Give me a like. Number four, the bar girl scam. You're walking down the street and this beautiful Thai girl will come out, nice short skirt, nice tight top, and just say to you, do you want to come for a drink with me in my bar? And you might find it hard not to go with her. All she's doing is getting you into the bar to buy your drinks. Sometimes, as I said, it's good to say, my owl cup, no thank you. If you're liking this art and you're liking this video, please give me a like. Okay, number five, fake bar. Now, I don't actually mean fake money, but if a bar note has some writing on it, most places won't accept it. So, sometimes they have, the Thai seller will have, let's say, 20 bar note and it will have some writing on it and that's the bar they will give you as exchange. And you will find it very difficult, right, to use that 20 bar again in another place, right? So, the best thing to do is just quickly check the bar. Now, if you do manage to get hold of one of these uh, fake bars, it's the only place that will take it is probably a bank. And if you go to the bank with your passport, and your other documents and the bank says no we're not accepting it well you're stuck with it just check your bar number six the online scams uh i saw one on instagram which promises work and then you have to uh promote different shops and stuff and they pay you in bitcoin and they have oh, yes yeah, the scam so be careful of those as well the online ones are a little bit tricky to uh the word suss out but they do exist okay good anyway like 
subscribe peace love unity see you later Picture.